So um, moving on, what are some common characteristics of people who become active volunteers or organizers? And what issues are you seeing that are mobilizing new organizers? Okay, so we're seeing in communities in the, here in Texas, but communities throughout the country, that the extremism of the far right, the fact that you can't now rely on schools to have the books that your kids um, want to read, that there's an effort to deprive people of a basic education, all of this overreach um, that we're seeing across a range of issues is something that um, we, is bringing forward. I mean, maybe they were always, as you said, maybe they were always sort of advocates and activists in their own way, but is bringing forward a new energy. And it's incredibly inspiring. And I think that there is a real challenge to like those of us on this, like here today and um, elsewhere to harness this moment, because if we can't harness this moment, it's really on, I mean, uh, I don't know, I don't even know what to say, because there is, there are so many people that are using um, their voices. We have been able to work with Florida Freedom to Read, a group called Red, Wine, and Blue. I mean, so many groups are, are coming up and organizing in ways because um, the extremism is affecting everyday life. And in exposing that and finding commonality around that, may, everybody may not agree on the, the bullet point issues or whatever they said on the last panel, the sort of bullet point issues, but, but they're now such basic, there's such an overreach that there are such basic things that we can all agree on, that just the fact that people want to live in a democracy is actually something our movement gets to harness at this time because the um, because the far right is, is trying to take it down that I think um, that to me is what, what we've seen. 